Hi guys and welcome back into the kitchen. I'm Derek and I'm the low protein chef here at Nutricia. Today we've got a real great recipe to share with you guys because I think it's one of them that again I get asked lots of questions about and I get lots of emails about so I thought I'd take you step by step on how to do meringues. So we're using our low protein egg white replacer. Um, it's a white powder. This needs to be mixed 24 hours in advance before you make it, just because this needs to break down. So when you mix this into the water, you'll see it goes really lumpy. And it doesn't look anything like it will do the next day. So this is our egg white replacer, it's at 24 hours, it's thick, it's viscose, we're going to pour it into our mixer. Again, make sure you've just got a very clean bowl, metal is always better when you make meringue rather than plastic, but most mixers will have a metal bowl on. And then we're just going to turn that on to a medium speed until we get a kind of cloud-like effect. So it'll, it's kind of see-through viscous now and it'll turn kind of white and fluffy. So the meringue has been whisking. You can see that it's all kind of cloud-like and turned white. So it's not that viscose anymore. So as soon as you get to that stage, this is the stage now where we need to add the sugar, but we need to add it a spoon at a time and allow that to incorporate. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes to whisk completely. So again, medium speed, and then we're just gonna spoon sugar in very slowly. Um, I'm using golden caster sugar. So this is gonna kind of add a caramel tone to the meringue. But if you want pure white meringues, just use normal white caster sugar. sugar's been added in we've kept whisking for about 10 minutes and then you'll see you get this kind of light billowing marshmallowy kind of uh, meringue I'm going to show you just how to pipe a few different shapes because sometimes this can be a little bit scary you don't need to pipe so you can just take all of the mixture and pile it onto your tray smooth it round and then you've got a pavlova and again you can just spoon individual um, blobs in there. If you want to turn this into a maruki, you can just add some low protein chocolate, um, some sprinkles, and again, you can just spoon that on using two spoons. Leave a little gap in between because they will spread, but um, let's do a little bit of piping. So I've got a disposable piping bag. Um, just fold the top down over your hand, and then you can just place in your meringue. If you want to add colour to this, you can just add some paste colour down the inside of the bag and then when you squeeze it out, you will get some lines coming through there. I'm just going to cut off the end. You can put a piping tip in there, a star nozzle, just squeeze some out. So this one I'll show you is a meringue cake pop. So all we're going to do is just pipe out a disc, whatever size you want and then um, take a cake pop stick and then place it into the middle, spin it round and there's your cake pop, that'll bake and then you can decorate them when they come out of the oven. If you want to do some meringue nests individual, again, just pipe down, do a disc and then you can either pipe a board around or you can just pipe individual blobs, whatever you decide. That's your meringue nest. If you just want um, small meringues which bake really quickly, you can sandwich these together as a little cookie so you can use some buttercream. Um, and this is a really good way you can pipe out people's names as well. So you can just do letters 
and then you can add these on top of cupcakes or decorate a birthday cake. Let's do a D for Derek. Let's do an L for Lucy. So again, piping's really easy. Leave a little bit of a gap on the tray. Always line the tray with parchment paper. And then these are gonna go into an oven at 180, which seems very high for meringues. But as soon as you pop them in, then turn it down to 50 degrees and leave them in there for about an hour. Turn the oven off and then leave them in the oven until they're completely cold. When they're cold, you can just peel them off the paper. You can use them straight away. Store them in an airtight container or you can freeze these meringues. So again, if you're batch making, you can batch make pavlova, leave it in the freezer, take it straight out and decorate it. It doesn't need to defrost. So that's your low profile meringue recipe. There's loads you can do with this. Have a go. Once you've done it, it's dead easy.